Hi everyone. Today's subject is um, oral health um, for your dog's teeth. And in return, this is going to help with your dog's breath and digestion. Um, so first, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our On Guard. Um, this is our On Guard oil. Uh, this is a very hot topic right now with our oil company. Um, this is our immune support blend, so it helps boost your immune system. You can take it um, orally. You can put some in water and just down it. You can put it in a capsule and take that orally that way to help boost your immune system. You can have it in a diffuser, uh, which I have going in every room of my house right now. We have On Guard in there. Um, you can clean with it. Uh, you can wash your clothes with it. It's a whole line. Um, hand soap, uh, the hand sanitizer spray, um, and I've also posted how to make your own hand sanitizer um, with the On Guard. But for today, this is what we're going to use to make our toothpaste. So um, first, let's go ahead and do that, and I will post the uh, recipe shortly. Um, so let's do that. So you just need a small container, anything will do, uh, pres preferably glass, because um, with our essential oils, they are very potent, so you don't want the essential oils to be eating away at that plastic, and then you or your dog ingesting that. Um, so we are just taking some baking soda, and we're putting about a teaspoon of baking soda into our little cup give or take. No science here, just doing it to con consistency that um, I like for my toothpaste. And then we're doing some uh, coconut, uh, the solid coconut, not the fractionated coconut oil. This is the solid. Um, this is organic. Um, so anything that goes near my dogs is organic. And True already wants to eat it. Uh, stop eating that, as you can see. Um, so a lot of the doggy toothpaste are um, flavored with beef or chicken or any of that. And those are all, all artificial flavorings um, that are not good for our dogs. And there's also um, other stuff in those uh, compounds too that you do not want your dog ingesting. Um, so this is all natural um, stuff that they can ingest. As you can see, True is very intently watching, making her toothpaste. Um, my dogs actually come running when I say it's time to brush your teeth because um, they like this toothpaste so much. So there's about a uh, tablespoon of the coconut oil to a teaspoon of that baking soda. Um, so you kind of mash that all up. You need to add a little bit more coconut. Hey, stop eating it. And then once we have that almost mixed up, we are going to add our on guard. So we're going to put right, three, four drops of the on guard um, straight oil into that solution. Get rid of that before I drop it. So you're going to mix that well until you have a paste, just like a toothpaste. So you can mix this with anything you want. I just have a little mix and stick here. And yeah, it's getting there. It's kind of cold today, so the coconut oil is very uh, stiff. So if you want to quicken the process, you can warm that up a little bit, and that will make it easier to, to mix. And then you'll have your paste quicker. But anyways, all right, so we have that mixed. Not quite coming together. I should add some more coconut oil, but we're not going to because we're gonna just get to our teeth brushing. So what I do is I take some of that paste and I just smear that on a toothbrush 
get that right down into the bristles. So it's all nice and uh, tight in that little toothbrush there. And then True's gonna be our demo dog, as you can see, because she's been waiting. I'm gonna get on this side of her so you can see better. Come up here, look down. Hey, go, go, girl. All right, so we just start with this little canine here. And gently, just brush, brush circular motions. Make sure you get up into that gum line. That's where periodontal disease starts, is at that gum line. Um, so make sure you're not just brushing the tooth down here, that you want to make sure you get up in that gum line. And you're going to do all the teeth. And if there's a little bit of bleeding, um, that's okay. That's just a little irritation of the gum line. And then make sure you get way back into the molars. And I know all of you are saying, or at least some of you are saying, my dog is not gonna let me put a toothbrush in their mouth. So do not fret. If your dog will not let you do this, skip the toothbrush. You can take a gauze pad and again, oops, I dropped my toothpaste. You're gonna 